much. Okay, Jake, thanks very much. We're now going to talk to Democratic Senator Ken Conrad, a member of the President's Deficit Commission. And I want to get to those commission proposals, Senator. Good morning. But let's begin with that news in the Huffington Post this morning. The President's signaling again uh, that he's willing to have all the tax cuts extended uh, temporarily. And this is important because if not, everyone's taxes are going to go up by the end of the year. Is this heading to a solution before everyone's taxes go up on December 31st? I certainly hope so. I think the president's remarks uh, are constructive. Uh, as you know, I pro proposed some weeks ago that we extend all the tax cuts for a period of time until we are able to fundamentally reform the tax system, because that's what is required in part here, along with spending reductions. Uh, both are going to have to be done if we're going to get out of this deep hole. And the Debt Commission chairman's proposals do both uh, as well. They're pretty radical proposals, according to some. And already, uh, some top Democrats are coming out and saying this isn't going to fly. Uh, former House Speaker, outgoing House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, saying they are simply unacceptable. Rich Trumka, the head of the AFL-CIO, says that these proposals tell working Americans to drop dead. Uh, what's your response to your fellow Democrats? Well, I would uh, agree with what the president said. Instead of shooting this down, uh, propose an alternative, uh, but one that does as good a job as this one does in getting us back on a sound fiscal course. Look, we are borrowing 40 cents of every dollar we spend today. That is absolutely unsustainable. And if we don't find a solution, this country is going to become a second tier economic power. That is the hard reality. And there are no easy solutions. This idea you just cut waste and fraud, that's not going to do it. The idea that you don't have to touch revenue, that's not going to do it. The idea that you don't have to touch Social Security or Medicare, that's not going to do it. Hey, Social Security and Medicare are both headed for insolvency. That's a fancy word for saying they're going to go broke. So look, uh, people can say, we just want to keep what is. What is, is not affordable. So it's could you not vote for these proposals? Look, we're going to have a chance to change them, but I am going to vote for proposals that do as much as this does in terms of reducing the debt, the deficit and the debt, which is four trillion dollars over the next ten years. And there is no way of doing it. There is no way of doing it that's not controversial and difficult. But you know, today is Veterans Day. You think of what they sacrificed for this country. If some of us have to sacrifice a political career to get this country back on track, then so be it. It that, has to be done. That is an admirable sen sentiment, Senator. I'm not sure it's shared by even other members of the commission. It doesn't appear right now that you all have the 14 votes you need to move this forward. And I talked about the Democratic opposition. On the other side, Republicans like Grover Norquist saying that any Republican who signs on to this is breaking the no new taxes uh, pledge. So, so how are you going to create a center of gravity to get something done? You know, I, in the end of the day, I trust in the good judgment of the American people. I think they know we're on an unsustainable course. We're headed for a debt that would be 400 percent of the gross domestic product of the United States unless we take action. Uh, that means we'd have to borrow more and more from the Chinese and the Japanese, put this country in hawk for as far as the eye can see. That is not acceptable and ultimately it won't happen because they won't loan us the money. We already just saw this week, China downgrade U.S. debt, and they are our biggest creditor. Hey, people have got to wake up in this country. On the left, they've got to face up to the fact we cannot keep Social Security and Medicare just as they are. Now, we can, through fairly modest changes over time, and by the way, the increase in the retirement age doesn't happen for 40 years, for 40 years. And they're saying, you can't do that? Okay. Let's get serious. Okay, Senator Conrad, thanks very much for your time this morning.